Hello friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll learn how to fix the failing test cases in our Angular application. That's right. In previous episodes and tutorials, we have covered how to run Angular test, how to write Angular tests, and in coming tests, we'll also cover code coverage, etc. But today's episode, I want to talk about how to fix some of the tests which are failing and you are in short of time. For example, if you are running an application which has hundreds of test cases and you know that there is one particular test case or two particular test cases which are creating really trouble for you and you don't have time to look at them, fix them, how do you skip them in order to make your build pass or your application compile successfully, right? So this is the example for that. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so. This will this is my only motivation and encouragement. Please do so. Also, if you have any questions or doubts, drop them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you with your queries. Let's get started in the practical. So I have my application which is here and first I'm going to show you the real use case of it which is let's run npm run test and I have few tests which will fail I know for sure and I will show you how to skip them so that your build passes it's not a good idea but you should definitely know it because in order sometimes we need to fix these test scripts sometimes we have to skip so that the build is passed and that's important if you are running short on time so here we can see that there are 12 test cases which have passed and three which have failed so Let's assume that I don't have time to fix these test scripts, but I'm in bad need to compile this and successfully deploy and compile my application. So let's see that. The first one is app component should render title. Let's go to that app component dot spec dot and here it would say should run title, return title. Just add X in front of it, right? So now it should tell you that there are only two failed because it should show you one skipped. So now you see it says two failed and you can see here it says skipped one. Similarly, let's look at the other two product details component. Let's go to product details component dot spec and let's check the test case. It says can't bind checked with the property. All right, uh, fail template, it should create. So this is the one which is failing. Call it add X in front of it and it would be skipped. So now we should see only one field. You see here one field and it says skipped two. Let's check out the last one, FW content component. So let's go to our framework content component, FW content component. And here it says should create. So I am going to make it skip. So now we'll see that everything passes. All right, we still have an error. FW content component. Are we on the correct one? Let's check. This is the one. So just add x and it will skip that test case you don't have to comment it you don't have to delete it but instead just add x in front of it and you see now it says total eight pass and it has skipped four which is a good way if you are in short of time and our report looks green so we are good to go with our production build or temporary fix to fix these test cases this is a quick shortcut that i want to teach you about how do you skip some of the test if you're short of time? It's always good idea to fix the test, but if you don't have time, you can always skip them for now and revisit them. And all you have to do is add X in front of the it, it statements. Go through this tutorial. If you have any queries, drop them in the, in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you for free. Before I leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining. I'll bring you more tutorials. Stay tuned.